Hey, what's up guys? Joker here, and today we've got another couple of stories in the world of tech and PC gaming. First up, we'll be talking about NVIDIA, who teased something very super in yesterday's video that they put out, and also Witcher 3 now has ray tracing? What? But first, today's video is brought to you by LevelGo.com, where you could save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro for under $16, Microsoft Office 2019 Professional Plus for $80, and Microsoft Office 2016 for under $40. And if you use my links down in the description below, you can save an additional 21% off of Windows 10 Pro with the code KTL21 at checkout, and you can get 16% off the entire website with the code KTL16 with the links down in the description below. So first up, as I said, we'll be talking about NVIDIA Super, which uh, really we don't know exactly what it is right now, except there are have been some rumors leading up to Computex, which can kind of give us a little bit of an idea of maybe the direction NVIDIA might be going with this, and I've also got some theories myself on this topic. So in case if you missed this video, that NVIDIA posted yesterday, which you'll be seeing right now. We really don't get a whole lot of detail from it. It's just a 17 second teaser where it's just kind of panning over some text that says the word super. So it, I guess we're going to see something at Computex, which is going to be pretty super. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think I could say the word super enough, honestly, without it sounding any better in my head. If they come out with a graphics card called NVIDIA Super, I, I might just cringe a bit. I'm already cringing, in case you haven't been able to tell. So what exactly is NVIDIA Super? Well, we don't have a firm idea of exactly what this is, but we could take a look at a rumor at least that kind of maybe points us in the right direction on this. The rumor originated about nine days ago on the 15th that said that NVIDIA would be doing a refresh of their high-end touring cards. So basically the RTX cards, I guess that would be from the 2060 all the way up to the 2080 Ti conceivably. It was just a rumor at, at all um, <laughs> at the time and it still is considered a rumor. But basically what it said it would be that this refresh would bring forth 16 gigabyte per second memory GDR6 memory. So basically faster GDR6 versus the current memory which is using 14 gigabit per second. So it would bring up just probably a marginal increase in performance bringing in the faster memory. Maybe not, it probably wouldn't be a ton of performance gains, but it could bring a little bit which could help NVIDIA moving forward when it needs to compete with Navi. Obviously we're expecting to see Navi launching sometime in Q3, maybe July, maybe August. Uh, the current rumor is July 7th. Uh, so if they've got it coming out July 7th, NVIDIA might, might want to make sure that they have got something to beat that, especially when it's going to be competing directly, based on rumors again, with the 2060 and the 2070. And if these cards are getting even close or beating them, maybe in some games that are a little bit better optimized for AMD, then it would make a lot of sense for NVIDIA to go ahead and want to put out something that is just a little bit faster so that they can give them that slight edge so that they can keep their dominance at that price point, even though they've, they're have they already dominating on the high end with cards like the 2080 and the 2080 Ti. The 2080 Ti has conceivably no competition whatsoever, while the 2080 is competing with the already released Radeon 7, but those are a bit pricey and kind of hard to find, honestly. So if the faster memory theory does hold up, it would be interesting to see if NVIDIA does plan to do this for the full range of RTX cards, or if they maybe just wanted to focus on doing um, a refresh of like the 2060 and the 2070, and then leaving the 2080 and the 2080 Ti right where they are, is because the 2080 Ti is basically already a ramped up 2080 in a way. I mean, well, it's got the same nomenclature, although they couldn't be further apart in terms of actual game performance. Um, the 2060 and the 2070 is really the only area where they're going to be seeing pressure from AMD, but I guess with the 2080, they are seeing pressure from Radeon 7, so maybe they want to get a slight edge there as well and just keep total dominance throughout the entire stack. Now, one other th working theory that I have is, and this is just my theory, I have absolutely no facts or even rumors or leaks to back this up, is maybe, just maybe, NVIDIA might release the Touring G uh, RTX cards as GTX cards and remove the RT cores and the Tensor cores, which would bring down the price considerably. So that would give them another way to compete with AMD because if they can put out competitors and then charge considerably less for them by removing RT cores and Tensor cores, 
that could be another way for them to go as well. And I personally like this theory a lot more. I mean, it's not that I think it's any more likely, but I just think it would be so much better for them to do that and make them even more competitive and also give them a lot of faith with gamers being able to drop down the price as much as they likely would and then compete with the Navi parts. So that could definitely be a possibility, but as I said, it's just my my little tinfoil hat theory. But I do look forward to your guys' opinions, thoughts, discussions, everything down in the comments below on exactly what you think NVIDIA Super is going to be. Speaking of ray tracing and things that are really super, The Witcher 3 now has a reshade mod which introduced ray tracing slash path tracing. It's not actual real ray tracing, but it is path tracing. And it actually is pretty impressive that they're even able to do something at this level without using RT cores or actual ray tracing. It looks pretty darn good, but it is not without its fault. So this mod, which I'll, I'll leave links to the sources and everything down below if you are interested in downloading this for Witcher 3 and using this mod and seeing how it looks in your game. But I'll be showing you a video right now um, that was uploaded by the modder. And you can see that it is not without its faults. So yes, it does look um, better at first glance. You know, the lighting gets a lot better. It looks a lot more realistic, but it is definitely not perfect. One of the main issues that I noticed with it going from the vanilla version of Witcher 3 to using this uh, reshade is that the image gets really noisy, especially on some of the finer details in the video. And this is kind of one of the things that, you know, NVIDIA struggled with and, you know, pretty much anyone trying to implement ray tracing has struggled with for years. It is the noise that can be introduced from ray tracing. And that's why the denoiser was such a major deal when RTX cards were first announced is because they figured out a way to do that without making it take days for a scene to actually render. So that's kind of one of the benefits of using an actual RTX card versus doing something like this, which is kind of like a hack slash workaround to get a somewhat close effect. And given that this is a post-processing shader effect, the reshader is only using depth information available in screen space in order to provide these path tracing effects. And furthermore, the reshade does not know the exact direction that the light is coming, coming from, which can lead to some slightly wonky scenes as it just doesn't have that real-time information like you would get with ray tracing or DXR, if you want to call it that. But either way, this is uh, pretty cool that they're actually doing this. And, you know, it's, this is kind of maybe in its early stages of the reshade and maybe it could get better over time. I still like using reshades for a lot of my games that I play to help with just things like maybe sat like saturation or contrast, brightness, things like that, that can kind of just make the image pop a little bit more. Not necessarily using things like this with path tracing. This is just another type of reshade that you can use. Um, but reshade is generally actually pretty darn cool. Things like sweet effects um, have been really awesome for games in the past and fixing some of the color palettes and things like uh, BF3 and BF4, if you remember those games, they had this like really blue effect to them. And using something like Sweet Effects at the time could have made it look a hell of a lot better, in my personal opinion. And it just helped with the colors and, um, like I said, contrast, brightness, things like that made them look really, really good. So I'll definitely keep an eye out on this. Hopefully it does get better in the future. But right now it does look pretty promising. It's just that really noisy image that kind of is making me hold back from wanting to use something like this in my modded version of The Witcher 3. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day and the upcoming weekend. Memorial Day is coming up, so that's going to be pretty awesome. I hope you guys got a pretty sweet barbecue plan. I'm definitely going to be hosting one here, growing up some steaks, ribs, burgers, dogs, chicken, you name it, all that good stuff, good old Americana. So... I'm going to get out of here, and uh, yeah, thank you as always for liking, commenting, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell, and I will see you guys maybe tomorrow for another video. Ciao.